What's up guys, Twitchy here and welcome to part 14 in the Arc Server Manager videos. Today we're going over the Game User Settings INI section. If you don't need this section, feel free to skip forward or back in the tutorials to hopefully find something that helps you more. But if you do need this section, stick around because we're getting into it. Alright, so this section is basically for editing the Game User Settings INI file. Some of you guys might not know what that is, so I want to take you into the directory that will show you where it's at. That is under, if we're in the main server folder, you would go to Shooter Game, Saved, Config, Windows Server, right click and open with Notepad++. Now you guys can just right click and edit and then it'll open it up in general and regular Notepad. I prefer um, Notepad++ myself, but again, that's a, that's a personal preference. Now, as you can see here in the game user settings I and I file, this is where all of the changes we've made. Well, this is where most of the changes that we've made to the server are being stored. And you can see that there's nothing really new or special down here at the end. The message of the day is the last thing we got. Now. Whenever you're actually adding mods into your server, some mods will have their own set of INI changes that need to happen. This is Castles, Keeps, and Forts Remastered. It's a great mod. Shout out to the mod author. He did a freaking amazing job with that. But you can see right here it has INI settings for the game, user settings, INI. And all of these things can be added. Now, if, if you wanted to right now, you could just right click it, copy it. You could go into this right here, you could down at the bottom and you could paste it and you could make the changes you wanted to and save it and you'd be fine. However, there is a nice little spot in Arc Server Manager for just said thing. So if we go back to our server manager and we click this little thing that looks like a clipboard, we can copy and paste that, well we can paste it, we've already copied it, right into that and we can process that and you can see it gets added and all of them then are right here. Click save, Open Notepad++ back up. This file has been modified by another program. Do you want to reload it? Yes, I do. And bam, they're right there. So you can do it either way, whichever way works for you the best. But whenever you do have mods and stuff that have these custom INI settings, you can add them like that in Arc Server Manager. So I hope you found this video somewhat helpful, or at least if you didn't know what that section was for, at least now you do. And I hope to see you guys on the next one.